Why didn't someone read the instructions last time? That's what I'm wondering. So we need hey guys, real quick before this video gets started, I wanted to let you know that this Saturday, July 8th, we will be at a car show in Cedar City, Utah, starting at 4 p.m. till probably dark. So we would love to see any and all who can come. We're gonna have our merch tent there. We're gonna have the FJ there. We're gonna have the Rat Rod Wrecker there. So we'd love to see you guys come out, see all the other cool cars. There's gonna be fun stuff for the kids. It's gonna be a good time. See you there. All right, so last time we worked on the tow truck, you seen us dive into the front end and see what was wrong with the locker. Oh. Yep, yep, there's the line. Cut in half. Easy? Yes. Dude, it like oh, it ate it. Wait, what was that? I'm oh, gonna boy. I'm gonna quit my celebrating now. Oh, oh right, there. There. No, no. right there. Right there. We figured it out. We fixed the locker, but the ring gear was bad. I've got new parts for that, so today we're gonna lift this thing up and disassemble the whole front end and put a new ring and pinion in it. Here we go. Yeah. Be strong. Tire going down. I guess where I'm putting this? On the hoist. On the hoist arm. If you don't oh, that was good. <laughs> Look at that skill. Hacky sack, man. Hacky sack alive, huh? Seems, seems like we just did this. There she's wiggling. Pound it in. Once baby. it comes, that it's gonna go. It seems like it fit, but it doesn't look like it wants to fit. Hmm. We wanted to disassemble this whole thing, didn't we? like that's what we're doing. <laughs> Nothing like completely dismantling the front end to get the axle out of it. When you put good parts in though, there's some sacrifices. That's one. No, don't do that. <laughs> that side, yeah, the power leaked out right there. <laughs> Actually, it was operator error. Yeah. This line got in between the pinion and the ring gear and it had nowhere to go. It had to, had to go somewhere. Won't do it now, that little right there fixes it. She's good for life. Get this air locker undone. All right, I gotta clean that table off. All right. What do you think? She gonna go right back in with the same shims and you can be hopeful. Yeah, it's Monday, so. So far things <laughs> have gone good for us today. Okay. That's heavy. So the 14 bolt, this sets on the other side of the bearing. And you gotta put a puller underneath of here and here to pull it all off. It's pain. I'm trying to decide if we put new sills on this while we've got it out. Or was it the line going around in there? No. No, it's rubbing. It's thrashed this and that. Wow. We're gonna have to get to the bottom of that. Need some sort of a spacer setting down in there. Guess we can pull her in gear bolts and drop it, pull the pinion. And then away we go. Back together and we'll figure that out as we go.
Is it weird being shaved? Does it feel weird or does it feel I I can't You can't tell? I can't see myself. You look weird. <laughs> you look really weird. I know. <laughs> I miss it. How long has it been? Since I was married. 10, 11 years ago. Yeah, you're launching pieces of that. I heard that. It hit my hat. I just hit it. <laughs> <Not his peak. laughs> oh, oh. That's it. Yeah, I Money. Yeah, I'd see. There's quite a few shims in there. And we gotta get the bearing tool out. Drop that bad boy on. Right. It is showing something between it. It says to to get it zero and then spread it 20 put your 20 thousandths in there that that's what i didn't do i need the 20 thousandths in there I'm not. <laughs> okay so we got to have 20 thousandths in between there that's making that's making me nervous no more than 20 because the fj it doesn't happen no why didn't someone read the instructions last time that's what i'm wondering so we need to measure it right now basically no it it's good we need to take like ten thousandths out of that shim pack put underneath this i think i could take that much and put there and it would move that up to where it's supposed to go okay right there is where your sill was running 15. we need it to run right Can there it's going to be super close to exactly what you want doesn't feel like it's hitting maybe that'll work and we can just throw all this right back in it and that'll set right on here like so and we bolt that back in there right yep i think we try it i mean worst case we got to pull this flare back apart <laughs> but that's why it tore it up because it got hot and bound up looped that thing caught us that makes sense well, I say slap Leave that it. pinion in that thing okay. and we'll... We reinvented this tool and made a lot of money. Did we lose the pinion? There you go. I was cleaning She's it. cleaning it. Cleaning her off. Sarah, that. She's good to go. Those are top side and that's the bottom. Add heat. So you can see right where the copper tube went through this gear. Oh yeah. That is what caused all of our problems. That's what broke the ring gear. So let me explain to you, it was my fault. A lot of people blame ARB for leaking. This was completely my fault. I didn't put a shim in between these two and we drove it and we got it hot. And this kind of locked onto the bearing. It rotated it, caused all our problems. Live and learn. I don't claim to know what I'm doing. We're just figuring it out. All right, I'm leaving these guys to put this back together. Go into a baseball game. Go check that out, Landon's playing. So I'm watching, so they get a doer by the shelf. Can almost get enough. Almost? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah, two or three threads. All right. Cool. Suck it in. Yeah. Should be good. Tighten it down until it smokes. Okay, you ready? Yeah, go ahead. That's our that shams. Tightened her up. Yep. You're so strong. Thank you! It's almost like there's a burr in the case. This side's going. It's one side or the other. I've got half a shim. Oh, look at that. It's like it's cashing on the housing. There it is, it? yeah. I don't know what to really do there. Me either. It's like it needs a pry bar under it. I think that's why that one got bent. There's nothing there, though. Like it's all... Oh, it catches that. It catches that bottom lip. Where huh? there's that hole in it. Ooh. Now if we can even get them in there got it. If you can shove it in in front of the bearing and push it up in like that. 
they don't roll with it. I don't know how we would pound those thins in there. That's too tight. Yeah. <laughs> Just smile. Smile. All right, let's pull it. You got it? Yep. You good? Yeah. We're trying to get this in. Really sucks. I'm depressed. I might need a code red, but we don't have any. So, <laughs> or Pepsi. <laughs> now these shims are just horrible. So we're trying to get them lined up. We're gonna reshim. Try again. Me. Hey. Work for me. Now you are tough too. Fingers. I'm. I'll move them. If you can get it. St oh, it's going in. This morning, another day in the shop. Just got back, well, got back late last night from my baseball game. Never even walked down to the shop, so these guys got some stuff done. Locker is back in it. Looks like it's got a good pattern on it. Pretty happy with that. We'll slam this thing back together today, get it out of here, put a radiator hose on it. Let me show you why. I'm gonna save you guys some trouble. Yeah, see that? Right, let me put that down. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. She split right out. You are leaking too, Dad. What? Oh, she's cute. <laughs> well, that's one casualty. Yeah, I kind of popped a radiator. It's got a metal hose that has these little clamps around it, and the rubber was cracked. We noticed it this week. Did we fix it? No, we thought about it. Don't worry about it. No, nah, it'll make it back to the rollback. Yeah. We're gonna put a real radiator hose on it, solve all those problems. Then I think the bugs are worked out of the truck. We just use it. Oh no, dude. How do these come off? All oh, those just pushed in that way, huh? All right, and here we go. Done. Got him? She's on. You're happy with that? Mm -hmm. Alright. Grab uh, the nuts and we'll tighten her up. you on the hoist a little bit. Why wouldn't they be? <laughs> <laughs> we were waiting for that. Nice no, doing a good job. Is he? Is he now? Uh, he's trying to those knock reflexes. My... That you, you're yeah, ready. I've worked with him for a while. Right. I've put that on backwards twice now. And it's still not right. It's still backwards every <laughs> time. Now test it. Free. Lock it. Locked. Work. I'm putting my clip on. Okay, you want me to tell you what I just learned? What's that? Turn it to free. And put the bumps on it. Okay. And push it in and start them and then you got it. Then it's in the right spot. 
glass. Well, where's the light? Landon, <laughs> grab that light on the high there one. Once again, no power in the shop. I know I've got a thousand comments. Why don't you have a generator? Well, I bought one. I got me a big Miller welder so that I can weld and have a generator, but it hasn't made it yet. Oh, power's back. Woo! Our water's off too for some reason. I don't know what's going on. So we'll get this figured out. Hey guys, got to interrupt this video for a second. I'm standing in my new office area. I can't wait. Paul, he's building stairs over there somewhere. Anyways, wanted to let you guys know that our freedom shirts are on the website now. Probably won't get them by the 4th since the 4th is tomorrow. But Fabrat celebrates freedom all year long. So you guys aren't going to want to miss out on these. It's a limited edition and we're not getting them again. So once they're gone, they're gone. Check them out at thefabrats.com. Back to the video. Okay. We only got a few things left. Put some oil in it. Do we have oil? The stuff we took out. We'll use it. Okay, so we'll get that done. We're about done. Here. I figured out how to make your peas grow. Yeah? You put them in a bowl and fill it completely up with water and let it set until it absorbs every drop of that water and then plant it. I about lost myself in the garden last night. Yeah? You plowed it too good. She's full. Got it. Got it. Now I just gotta do is throw the front tires back on and it should be good. That's it? Let me show you what I did. You're getting it! Huh? I'm getting it. I don't have that video. Oh, you passed. Oh, you yeah, got oh, whoa! I <laughs> can't get it. Holy <laughs> shit, boy. One freaking handed. I got oh, it. Yeah, because you're older than me. <laughs> nice. So, what's going on here? Look at that. Ghost pepper jerky. I'm paying you a hundred dollars. Yeah, if I finish it in If you under finish three it minutes. all under three minutes with no water. Okay. Alright, okay. here we go. Okay, three minutes. Go. <laughs> He's no, just... You can't knock all this stuff off either. We should check his temperature. It's hot. I feel myself burning up right now. <laughs> it's all hot. I'm hot. Fire. <laughs> Dude, you gotta keep going if you're gonna make this. What am I at? Two minutes. Oh no. <laughs> he's not he's not building the winter right now. Uh, that's hot. That's only half the slab. Nah, I'm surprised that way it was hot. Oh no. That's hot. <laughs> hey, you're doing good, you got half. <sighs> keep on going. Right, I'm done, man. Yeah, you only had five yeah, seconds oh. left. <laughs> five. Goodness gracious. And it's over. Get some milk or something. Ready? Yeah. There's a the water there. Oh yeah, that's got some fire in it. You're crying a little bit. Your eyes are starting to get a little watery. It's warm. I bet this stuff tastes better than that. You're done? Yeah. You guys have been eating? Oh, you about ate it all? Holy cow. Chase did half. No. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Oh no, you own that piece now. You yeah, own no, it. that's Just your whole it. thing. Oh, you you ate the whole thing. Yeah. Come on, come and get some. I have a big piece. Get this that's piece. good. <laughs> it's not that hot. Nothing. No. Oh, they put it on even on my tongue. So far, it's delicious, but I can feel it. It goes away pretty quick after you eat it. Really, yeah. it's not. 
doesn't I, last I don't forever think hot. It's true ghost pepper. Yeah. But it's got a good flavor too. It's yummy. Whoever sent it to us, it's, they make pretty good jerky. Yeah. yeah. Unless we all die. Is that going to be on the YouTube? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are your eyes watering? We got to see your eyes. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing yet. Construction guys are way tougher than us, I guess. That's what it is. There. What do you need? All oh, they're undone, so the hose should just fall off. We probably should get something to catch what's left of the coolant. So there might be some in this lower hose when we pull it off. It's coming, just a second. I'm back at this hose off. There's the hose. Okay, what we have here is it just pretty much blew it. The hose it. blew right out, just like the top one did before. We're not using this style ever again. We have a replacement. Ta-da! If you leave three boys in the shop, there's chaos. Oh, we might want the clamps, though. There's gotta be a grandma yeah. here. To tell us what to do. All right, we'll get this hose put on. All right, we got the uh, front end put together, got the coolant hose changed, and we're gonna go run it down the road and see if the gears sound okay and it doesn't overheat. So, on we go. This morning, Paul's gone, so he left us in charge, which that's not a good idea. But we gotta get the AC on this thing, because summertime's here. So we gotta realign some stuff, big time, get the belts hooked up, and we'll see if we can make AC work. So we'll see what we can do. Safety second. Okay, we gotta take this bracket here. That's where the AC pump sits, and we gotta move it out just a little ways. But it's welded on everywhere. So Hunter's gonna take and cut this no, off. No. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Alright, new plan. Taking it all the way Yep. Here's the assembly. Sean must be working or something over there. Right? Oh yeah. We're gonna take care of this mess. Get it all tucked up underneath and then we've gotta build something for the AC, so I don't know what to do there. We might leave that for Paul. But we're gonna get this taken care of, so I'll be doing wiring. Finally got that cut off. It's flat now. That surface is flat. As soon as I get the alternator mounted, we'll set the AC on there, slide it to wherever Ben says it's good. Whatever. Because he's the man. We all go off Ben. So when everything lines up and is happy, we'll just weld it in. I never had any, so. Now we're just waiting on the famous Ben. Ready for story time? You know the Christmas popcorn tins? Yeah. <laughs> they used to always send them around to the shops. We had this one owner, he would never wash his hands. He went to the went to the bathroom. We're all eating the corn, you know, and then all of a sudden he gets out of the bathroom after taking a big old deuce. And it's like hand right in the corn. We're like, oh. So everyone's like, hey, want some ass corn? <laughs> <laughs> Never ate it again. Just so, uh, you know, just think about that next time you I stick your hand in a bag or something. <laughs> don't need any corn for a while. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> I'm sticking with beaver now. <laughs> Story time. 
That was good story time with Ben. Story time. That one hit the ground. Heard it. This is entertaining, huh? We're trying to get this lined up with the belt so we can weld it on. So, Hunter, give us our official. I'm not getting Come it. on. No. <laughs> Your quality control here. Well, that chuck about, how high is this rev? Seven? 72. I think right there is going to be the ticket. Every day is hustling. Should have been a singer, huh? You know that song? You know I do. That was like in the 2000s. <laughs> It's not Taylor Swift, so it's okay. Hey, you were listening to Katy Perry yesterday. I don't even want to hear it. It did come up on my you, phone. You I don't get it. Katy Perry. Try right there. I'll try to hold it and not light on fire. What do you think, Hunter? Give us your eyeball opinion. Better than it was? Better than the Nova, <laughs> then it'll stay on, I'm sure. Oh yeah, the Nova's a little off, isn't it? Yeah, I'm the yeah. belt master around here. I think let's make us a couple good welds on it, so. Somewhere we can cut if we Not fly the back bags. corner. Not the back corner. Because <laughs> then we'll line up all the pulleys. We'll get everything. We'll get the belts coming. We can take it back off and weld it all the way if we have to. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good, Hunter. Sounds good. Yeah, we're like, what are, what are we looking at right now? Like, what? Dude, I'm stoked. What are we looking at? Skeeter showed up coming back from Lake Powell. Just stopped in to say hi. Which we're glad. Yeah. This is pretty cool. And Heavy D Convoy. Yeah, Lake Power yeah. got raced, you know. How long have you been out there for? We about called you guys. We were like, what is this? Man, for two days. Oh. We were climbing here looking. At it. Think you can get up there, Ben? <laughs> oh, yeah. All clear in it. And then these, these used to shit. have armor. Oh, okay. Like on them. So you made bumpers. We took the armor. You really could wakeboard and surf and do everything you wanted to. It throws up a huge wake, but it's the designated rescue boat, you know. I'll watch nice you pull you. out. Nice to meet you. Yeah, this will It'll be a 10 minute yeah, process. Yeah, we'll, we'll watch you pull Can I out. Can over the lawn? Yeah. <laughs> Look at the shocks on that other coil. Tell me an update of what you've been doing. Sean's been it's... fixing everything. Lana has been watching. And I've been supervising. And Hunter was filming. And we had lunch. Oh yeah, lunch. And we had a visitor. And belts are measured and ordered. And it's been a non-productive day. <laughs> really? <has> really? Been. <laughs> I got vacuum. See, we got one thing. Yeah, we're close, man. Okay. This is all back together and look at it. It looks exactly the same, but different. We just need belts now. Sean just put that on, got it all handled. He welded it, he did it. I worked on the inside. All right, so we got a bunch done on the wrecker. We got uh, front ends all fixed in it. AC's getting dang close. We got some belts to show up. We can get that dialed in, but uh, just close enough. We can use it again, so put it back to work. So thanks for watching.